Well, in our previous, one of our previous videos, we showed where we rented a rig, a drilling rig, and got some help and drilled us a 200 foot deep well. And this well has quite a bit of iron in it. So I found this filter. I had two filters, but I don't have the fittings for both of them. But this big monster filter right here, it has a, uh, polyester filter in it that you can take out and wash it clean it and I think uh, one way to help get the iron off the filter is to use I think it's called oxalic acid or something same thing you would use to like clean the rust off of quartz crystals and stuff but anyway I'm hooking it up I'm gonna test it and see how it does with the iron it could do great or it could clog up in five minutes We'll see. We got the water running through it. Now we just wait and see. I'm gonna fill up a bottle with water before the filter and fill up a bottle after and see how much there is a difference with the iron in the water in the bottom of the bottle. All right, so this one without the cap, that's uh, without the filter. Normally the water's really clear. I must be stirred up. And this one with the cap on it, that's after the filter, which still doesn't look beautiful. But I'm gonna let it sit for a day and see what you know settles at the bottom. I really love these shark bite fittings. They are a little, they are a little pricey, but I mean you just kind of you just push it in there, and it's good to go. And I think they're great. But. Or you can use that crimping tool, which if I was doing a lot of plumbing, maybe I would go that route. But this works great for me. Here's some water after the filter. I just put it in this jug. Looks pretty nice. I'm gonna leave it sitting on the counter over here. And we'll see if uh, by tomorrow if any iron settles in the bottom so it's been like two weeks since i installed this and the filter is looking pretty dirty so i'm gonna change it out now this is all out in the open right now but i am going to build a well house around all of this coming up very soon so this will all be indoors here in the next couple weeks but anyway for now it's out here all right, I'm gonna get that big old wrench thing. It comes with this big wrench. And you can see right here, it tells you which way to go. And uh, I'm not gonna be able to, I gotta hold on to it because I don't have it mounted properly yet. And I'll loosen it up by pulling on this. Yeah. So that came loose pretty easily. I'll take this off and we'll have a look at this dirty filter. Yeah, that's got a lot of iron and stuff on it, so I wanna see if I can rinse it off. I'm glad that's coming off. Oh, don't be rolling off of there. All right, so I'm gonna rinse this off real good. Probably in the future, if it gets to where it's like stuck on iron clay stuff, I'll have to use that oxalic acid to soak it in a little bit. I bought an extra filter so that I can put the other one in while this one's soaking just for a couple hours. I read that's what I read. So anyway, so far, I guess I'll show the. It's still letting a little bit of uh, iron get through because I think this is the, probably like a 100 micron filter. I also have a 50 that I haven't hooked up yet. And then after that, we'll probably put something even smaller with a water softener. So, uh, so I got it all cleaned up and I opened up the water and it shouldn't be too long before it uh, 
starts to get dirty again. Anyway, I'll put a link for this filter in my description as soon as I get a chance. I'm gonna look at some, uh, let's look at some water that came through. The See that filter still let a little bit of iron get through. Versus all that. I don't know, it's not that, but it did trap a lot of stuff, other stuff. Anyway, like I say, that's a pretty good filter because you can wash it off. Uh, if you like this, share it with people and good luck with your well. Still a little bit of iron.